Rail regulator has fined Network Rail £2 million for train delays and cancellations last year. The Office for Rail and Road said the firm's performance on several routes, including Southern and Thames Link services, had been below expectations. The report also highlighted the problems faced by passengers who use London Bridge Station. Well, let's speak now to Steve Knight, an area director for Network Rail. Thank you for joining us this lunchtime. Uh, given all the trouble at London Bridge, some might say you've gotten off quite lightly here, and had you been a, a private firm, well, this fine would have been a lot higher. Well, firstly, I'd like to apologise for the disruption that did happen since January. The level of service that we offered was not an acceptable level. Since then, we've invested heavily in improving the reliability of the service, over £11 million in improved maintenance, improved customer information, and we've seen improvements in reliability of around 12% since that time. So we recognise that performance wasn't good enough, but we have made improvements, learnt some lessons, and we are committed to making performance better. There are some who say that this £2 million should go to the passengers who's, who've been disrupted over the last year. Uh, what will happen with, with the money? Well, the regulator has given Network Rail the option of putting forward proposals to invest that £2 million in improving customer service. And that would be our preference. Our preference would be to invest in improving the service that we offer to passengers rather than paying the fine. Southern and Thameslink represented a third of punctuality delays and almost half of cancelled and delayed services across England and Wales. It really isn't good enough when it comes to these services. What's going to be done to make sure we don't have the same picture this time next year? Well, Southern and GTR are the largest operator in the country and they do make up a significant number of the services that do run on the network. So the lessons that we've learned from this project are around the complexity of rebuilding London Bridge, transforming the station into a fantastic railway station for London with more services and more seats for people to, uh, to travel on their journeys, basically. So the fine balance between running a network and building a complex engineering project is the main lesson that we've learned from this, this, this work that's taken place in, since the new year. Sure that customers who use London Bridge won't face similar scenes, chaotic scenes that we have seen in the past. Well, like I say, we've apologised for the disruption that's happened since January and we have made significant improvements both in terms of the investment over £11 million in improving the service that we offer since January and customers have experienced an improved journey since that time. We've made improvements of around 12% but we recognise there's still more to do and we're absolutely committed to improving the service that we run. Steve Knight uh, from Network Rail, thank you for joining us this lunchtime.